Hello and welcome to Hobbies Hobbies. I'm Alex Hobson and today we are going to be taking a look at my 1992 Nissan Pathfinder. I recently got a nail in one of the tires so I'm going to plug it. I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the tire plug kit that I bought. Then I'm going to show how to properly remove the tire, plug the tire, and then we are going to test it out to make sure that it's working properly. So we'll go ahead and jump right into that unboxing. The plug kit we're going to be installing in the Nissan today is the Tech Outdoors Tire Repair System with Permacure. Now it says ATV on the front, but uh, well, it's kind of like maybe there's a whatever, I don't know. This is going to go in my four-wheel drive off-road truck, 92 Nissan Pathfinder, so uh, not too worried about highway reliability with this, but I figure this is probably better than other plugs. It's got a nice set of instructions inside, full color details, nice thick cardstock, that's pretty nice. Got a uh, swag sticker, got our hole reaming tool, our plug installation tool, eight individually wrapped plugs, and then we have got our chemical vulcanizing fluid. Now this is the reason why I picked this kit over other ones, a lot of other ones have kind of crappy stringy plugs that are fibrous and then they've got rubber cement instead of vulcanizing fluid so the plug never really seats or uh, bonds to the tire so it's not nearly as perma cured as this is supposed to be. So we'll see how it works, take it out to the truck, get it installed and uh, see how she rides. The first thing to make sure to do is to set the handbrake or the parking brake on the vehicle and then we're going to just loosen each of those lug nuts about a quarter of a turn. So I'm going to fast forward through and after we've got that done we are going to crawl under the truck, jack it up, put a jack stand underneath it, make sure that the jack stand is locked and after that we will set the truck down onto the jack stand. After we've done that, we can come back around and finish taking off the rest of those lug nuts. Again, I'll just fast forward here. And once we've got all of these lug nuts taken off, we're going to take the tire off. And if it's a little bit hard to undo, just hit it a couple of times, it should come loose. And then after we've taken the tire off, if we haven't already, we can find where the nail is. And as you can see, it mine's still a rusty little spot right here. It uh, has been in there for about a week, haven't driven it, so grab a pair of pliers. And it might take a little bit of coaxing to get out, and once it does come out, it's going to let a whole rush of air out of it. But the nail that I pulled out of here was uh, pretty substantial. After the nail has been removed from the tire, I'm going to take the hole reaming tool and add a little bit of the vulcanizing compound to it. Then once the vulcanizing compound has been added, take the reaming tool and insert it into the tire. It takes a bit of a struggle to get it in there, that's for sure. After you've gotten it in there a good bit of the way, just pull it on back out and be ready to install the plug. Then we'll take the plug insertion tool, thread a plug through the hole there, and then coat the plug with that vulcanizing compound, and then take and press it into the tire without twisting it, is what the instructions say. So I broke the rules a little bit there, but after all, I got it in without twisting it too far. After that, you just pull it back out, and the plug is installed. After that, you'll want to take and air up the tire, pour a bit of soapy water on the plug, and if any bubbles form, you'll know you've got a leak. Otherwise, the plug has been successfully installed, and you're ready to put it back on the vehicle. So, take a pair of snips, cut off the ends of the plug so that it sits flush with the surface of the tire, you're ready to put it back on the truck. So, just take and put it back up on the truck, install all those lug nuts, get them just hand tight, Go ahead and take the jack stand out from under the car. Put the car back down on the ground. Pulled the jack out from underneath the truck.
grabbed the tire iron, torqued all the lug nuts down tight as I possibly could, fast forwarded through, but make sure to tighten all of these down as much as you can, and then take it out for a test drive. Next day, I went ahead and grabbed my tire pressure gauge, went out to the tire that I had plugged after letting it sit overnight and check the pressure, and you can see it here. 26 PSI, exactly the same amount of air that I put in it last night when I aired it up, meaning that the plug install was successful. So I'm done with that. That swag sticker has earned its place on my back windshield. Ah, close enough. Anyhow, that's all I've got, so thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you next time on another episode of Hobbies Hobbies.